Some of its synonyms are lost, concluding, finishing, culminating and ultimate. It is also where we are today, at the finals of the UAE's most prestigious inter-school quiz contest, the Baby Shop Star Quiz Challenge 2013. And here are the teams that have made it, all with one aim, to lift the ultimate cup of inter-school quizzing glory, the Baby Shop Star Quiz Rolling Trophy. Come, let's meet our finalists, my team A, Abu Dhabi Indian School. Good evening, welcome, congratulations. You all were the surprise package from our second semi-finals. Welcome to the finals. Please give us an introduction of yourselves. I'm Pradik Ravi from Grade 9 in Abu Dhabi Indian School. Proudly so. And you are? I'm Balaji Shankar from Grade 9 Abu Dhabi Indian School. Our best wishes are with you. Remember, competition is tough, but you all have reached here on your own merit. Team A, take your place. Well done. Please join me in welcoming our Team B. Emirates National School, Sharjah! Good evening and welcome, boys. Congratulations, yeah. you all have made it to the finals and a deserved Thanks. victory to reach here. Come, let's introduce ourselves again to our friends at home. Hello, I'm Aditya Murli of Grade 10, the Emirates National School, Sharjah. And you are? Hi, I'm Sam Jones Thomas, Grade 10, the Emirates National School, Sharjah. And you all are finalists in the Baby Shop Star Quiz Challenge 2013. Tell me, how do you feel at this point? I feel amazing. Amazing? Yeah. And your expectations are? Win. Yeah. Positive? Yeah. Confidence? I love that. All the very best. Take your place, Team B. <laughs> now it gives me great pleasure to introduce our third finalists, who are the highest scoring runners-up across the two semi-finals. Please welcome our own English high school, Fujera. Congratulations, congratulations. Welcome, welcome. Please, first give us your introduction once again. Hi, I'm Suru Pranganath from Grade 10, Aaron English High School, Fujara. And you are? I am Prabha Praveen of Grade 10, Aaron English High School, Fujara. Welcome. How does it feel? It's yeah. top of the world. Yeah, it's a great opportunity. I hope you take full advantage of it. Wishing you too a very, very good run at today's finals. Okay, all the very best, Team C. Let's take them straight into our first round, which is none other than Rapid Fire. Brought to you by UAE Exchange. Here are the rules. Five direct questions per team. In case you are not sure about the answer, say pass and we'll come back to the question if time permits. Five points for a correct answer. No negative points. 40 seconds to answer all questions. Are we ready? Yes. yes. Are we ready? Yes. This is the finals. Yes. You know that? Yes. Trophy is at stake. All the very best, Team A, Abu Dhabi Indian School. We are going to begin with you. Your time of 40 seconds starts now. In the X-Men series, which fictional metal alloy is a key component to Wolverine's skeleton and claws? Adamantium. Absolutely right. Which strait separates the European part of Istanbul from its Asian part? Pass. After being appointed as the dictator, who did Julius Caesar appoint as the master of the horse? Mark Anthony. Mark Anthony is correct. What name is given to the swarming phase of short-horned grasshoppers? Pass. Pass. The World Cup in which sport will be hosted by England in 2015? Rugby. Absolutely right, Rugby Union. Well done, Team A. Moving on to Team B, Emirates National School, Sharjah. 40 seconds, your time starts now. Which material was introduced in June 1943 on the Superman radio series in the story The Meteor from Krypton? Pass. Which is the smallest sovereign state in total area on mainland South America? Pass. Which dictator from Africa took the title The King of Scotland? Pass. Pass. The bites of which fly causes the African sleeping sickness disease? Tessie, 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 fly. Absolutely right. In the 18th century, the name of which fruit was also used as a verb meaning to pickle? Pass. Okay, and time is up. 40 seconds. Our own English high school, Fujera. Ready? Yes. And your question one. In which Arnold Schwarzenegger film, terbidium, a metal or alloy, was mined for use as a war material on Earth? Terminator 2. Incorrect. Which special territory of Chile, famous for its statues, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site? Pass. 
Who was the longest serving Prime Minister of United Kingdom in the 20th century? Winston Churchill. Incorrect. From various dialects of which language did the word tea originate? Buzz. Wayne Gretzky is a legend in a sport popular in North America and Russia. Name it. Baseball. Incorrect. Tie. Well, that was all for the rapid fire. The first round. This is just the beginning though. Four more rounds to go. And the next one is called Starcade. Brought to you by Medimix. Here are the rules. Each team will receive three clues about a famous personality or thing. First two clues will be read out. The third clue will be a picture clue. 20 points for a correct answer after the first clue. 10 points for a correct answer after the second clue. 5 points for a correct answer after the picture clue. No negative points. Questions will not pass in this round. 10 seconds to answer after every clue. Team A Abu Dhabi Indian School, once again, we will begin with you. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Okay. Your clue number one. Though formerly known as the Shinkansen or New Trunk Line, this mode of transport is more famous by the English translation of its original name. Bullet Train. Absolutely right. Bullet Train. <laughs> Team B, the Emirates National School, Sharjah. Are you ready for your first yes, clue? Yes, yes. Good. During World War II, this British mathematician and logician was a leading participant in the breaking of German ciphers. Next clue. For 10 points, he is widely considered to be the father of artificial intelligence and a test to prove the ability of a machine to display intelligent behavior is named after him. Time. Third clue, picture clue, five points. Okay, the picture clue coming up on the screen now. And I'm afraid I can't give this. There is no pass on anyone else. Alan Turing. Alan Turing. Well done, Balaji. Abu Dhabi Indian School. Unfortunately, there are no marks for this one. Okay. All right. Team C, our own English high school, Fujera. Your first clue. In 2004, the tree was designated as the official national tree of the United States. Maple. Maple is incorrect. I'm giving you clue number two. That can get you 10 points. The nut of this tree is known as an acorn. Okay, time. Moving on to clue number three, which is your picture clue. The picture clue comes up now. Chestnut? No, I'm afraid it's not a chestnut. Okay, the first stretch in our quest to find the winner of the Baby Shop Star Quiz Challenge 2013 is just done. And an appropriate time to find where our teams stand. Here are the scores. Team C, our own English high school, Fujera, has not begun its scoring, so they are at zero for now. The Emirates National School, Sharjah, has started their scoring with five points. You're leading right now Abu Dhabi Indian School with a score of 35 points. Now we'll be taking a short break, but before I go, I'm going to ask the final viewer's challenge question for this season. Listen carefully, because if you know the answer, hey, you know what to do. Follow the directions on the slides and you could win some fabulous prizes too. Come, let's play the viewer's challenge. In which month of the English year does the US presidential election usually take place? Your options are A. September B. October C. November or D. December Options A. September B. October C. November or D. December SMS the correct option A, B, C or D to 6070 or log on to www.com starselect.com slash starquiz and like I said you could get a fantastic premium gift hamper worth 500 dirhams from Star.
Baby Shop Star Quiz Challenge 2013 will be right back. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us right here on your channel, Star Plus, the pulse of South Asians in the Middle East. Welcome back to the grand finale of the Baby Shop Star Quiz Challenge 2013. Moving on to our next round, the audiovisual round. Brought to you by Emacs. Here are the rules. You will either be shown a picture or hear an audio clip, followed by a question. A total of three questions, one question per team. The question will pass on if the first team does not answer or gets it wrong. 10 points for a correct answer. No negative marks. 5 points for a passed question. 10 seconds to answer a direct question. 5 seconds to answer a passed question. Are we ready? Yes. yes. Team A, Abu Dhabi Indian School, you are going to get a visual clue. The visual coming up on my screen now. Identify the peak. Uh, Mount Kilimanjaro. Absolutely right. Well done. Well done. Moving on to Team B, the Emirates National School, Sharjah. You also are going to be getting a visual clue coming up on my screen now. Whose statue is this? Is it Genghis Khan? It is Genghis Khan. Well done. Well done. Congratulations. Team C, our own English high school, Fujera. You get an audio clip. Can we please have the audio clip playing now? This is the anthem of which European organization? European Union. Absolutely right. Well done, well done. By the way, do you know what the Allman Brothers ban Guns N' Roses in excess? King Crimson and Jefferson Airplane have in common? Well, they're all bands which are sextets, which is a formation containing six members. It is a sextet which will face you in our next round. Scategories brought to you by Al Rabab. Here are the rules. We will start with the lowest scoring team. Each team gets to choose only one category out of six. 10 points for a correct answer. If the team does not know the answer, then the question passes to the next team for 10 points. 10 seconds to answer a direct question. 5 seconds to answer a passed question. To begin this round, we have the lowest scoring team as of now, which is Team C, our own English high school, Fujera. Okay? The six categories on screen are Sports. Sports. Which modern Olympic Games opening ceremony tradition started at the 1928 Amsterdam Games? Boxing. Boxing. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm passing it on. Emirates National School. Lighting the Olympic torch. Lighting of the Olympic flame. I'll give that to you. Well done. Now, it's your turn. Emirates National School, Sharjah, my team B. Choose a category. Travel, travel. Travel. Yeah. Okay. All licensed taxi drivers in which city need to pass a special test called the knowledge before they can drive one of the black cabs? London. Absolutely right. <laughs> Team A, Abu Dhabi Indian School. It is your turn and you choose what category? Technology. Technology. All right. Which American designer and futurist popularized the geodesic domes and has a form of carbon named after him? Our Buckminster 
full name? I'm going to give it to you, but do you know the full name? What is R? Richard Buckminster Fuller. Fullerene, an allotrope of carbon, is named after him. Well done, Balaji. Well done. Well done, all of you. Good. Just one round before we find our winner at the Baby Shop Star Quiz Challenge 2013. Before that, this is how the team stand as of now. The scores. Our own English high school, Fujera. Score of 10. Don't lose hope. Big round is yet to come your way. Score of 35 in the second position, the Emirates National School, Sharjah. Well done. Keep it up. And keeping their lead going there, Abu Dhabi Indian School, the boys are with a total of 55 points. We will take a short break now, but at the other side, the last round and a champion team will be with us. Stay with us here on Star Plus, UAE's leading Hindi entertainment channel. Welcome back, welcome back. The next round, the final round. There are 90 points up for grabs. Fortunes can go either way. If there ever was a time, it is now. Who dares wins. All the very best. We are at the buzzer. Brought to you by Baby Shop. Here are the rules. The team that hits the buzzer first gets to answer. The question will not be completed if the buzzer is hit while it is being read answer within five seconds of hitting the buzzer. Ten points for a correct answer, minus five points for an incorrect answer or no answer after hitting the buzzer. Are we ready? Yes. Are we ready? Hands on the buzzers. Okay. Question one. Which common gas is referred to as Wasserstoff in German? Okay. Question two. Which is the only city in the UAE to feature among the top 50 cities in the 2012 Global Emirates National School Sharjah? Dubai? Dubai, that's right! 2012 ranked 29! <laughs> Question 3, get ready! Which popular modern toy is modelled after the Japanese Begoma Tops? Yes, Team C. Beyblade. Beyblade is right! <laughs> Question 4. Besides winning Wimbledon, Australian Open, French and US Opens, what else does a player have to win to complete a career Golden Slam in tennis? Yes, Team C. Olympic gold. Olympic gold medal is right! Get ready, fifth question. The most distant source of which major river is a glacial stream on a snow-capped peak 5,597 meters high called Nevado Miss Me? Question six. Give me a word for opposite of Arctic. Yes, Team C. Antarctic. Antarctic is right. Well done. At the buzzer, question seven. What kind of a creature is a seahorse? Yes, Team C. Fish. Absolutely right, Team C. Last two questions. The final countdown. Question eight. American Jim Hines was the first 100-meter sprinter to officially break which time barrier? Yes, Team C. 10-second ten ten second barrier. The 10-second barrier, well done! And now we're at the last question. Which popular confection consists of layers of chocolate cake interspersed with whipped cream and cooked sweetened sour cherries? Team B. Black Forest. I'm going to give it to you! And with that, we come to the end of our third season of UAE's most prestigious inter-school quiz contest, the Baby Shop Star Quiz Challenge 2013. After 10 weeks of intense quizzing, we have a winning team at the season three of the Baby Shop Star Quiz Challenge. Come, let's find out who they are. Final scores of season three, Baby Shop Star Quiz Challenge 2013 with a score of 55 points 
Abu Dhabi Indian School. With a score of 55 points, the Emirates National School Sharjah, we have a tie. But we have winners in our own English high school, Fujera, with 60 points. The champions, the dark horses, who came in as our third finalist, well done, our own English high school, Fujera. Those are the smiles of champions of the Baby Shop Star Quiz Challenge 2013. Well, we have a winner, we have a champion, but we are not satisfied because we want more winners. Yes, we want our first runner-up, we want our second runners-up. I'm sure you do too, and I'm sure you all do too. So come, let's have a tiebreaker to find out our first and second runners-up. Here are the rules. The tiebreaker will be conducted in at the buzzer format. The team that hits the buzzer first gets to answer. The question will not be completed if the buzzer is hit while it is being read. Answer within five seconds of hitting the buzzer. If the team attempting to answer gets it right, they win. If the team attempting to answer gets it wrong, the other team wins. All right. The question is, how many legs do you find on a pair of normal adult Manx cats? Yes, Emirates National School, Sharjah. Eight. Eight is right! Well done! Well done! So, first runner-up, ladies and gentlemen, the Emirates National School, Sharjah. Well done, boys. All three winners over here, truly. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to reward these winners. Ladies and gentlemen, students, I'd now like to call on stage the man behind the Baby Shop Star Quiz Challenge. Students, please join me in welcoming Mr. Sumo Dutta, country head, star, Middle East, Africa and Pakistan. What a super show, man. Congratulations, Sumo. Well, Sumo, friends, it is now time to reward our winners. Yes, may I now call on stage our first runner-up, the Emirates National School, Sharjah! Congratulations. Well done, boys. Let's hear it for them. And now, to call on stage the winners of season three, to our own English high school, Fujera! Well done, boys. Well done. Congratulations. 